Hey there, welcome to my channel and welcome back to another brand new episode. And today we're going to create a very simple poster design using Adobe Photoshop. And today we're going to use a gradient map. Hold on. Yes, it seems like a previous tutorial, but we're going to use the gradient map differently. So there are a lot to cover. So without any further ado, let's dive into the video. So let's create an artboard first and for that press control and N and and uh, we're gonna go for 4 by 5 resolution to 300 color mode to RGB bitrate to Ada let's keep everything as default and let's click on create and right after that let's drag and drop this image right over here control T let's make it a little smaller uh, maybe let's keep it right over here uh, let's add a background color so let's give it a kind of darker color just like that and let's create a new layer go to brush and let's go for a particle uh, brush yep let's go for this one let's go for a white color let's add like a few particles here and there again let's create a one more layer and add one right around here all right and then let's go over here let's add a uh, exposure and let's Drop it down a little bit. Let's click on clip to layer and go to brush and let's go for a general soft brush. And let's see, let's drop down the size a little bit and let's erase a few parts. Maybe let's make it a little darker. Get a click on that layer max. Yep, just like so maybe let's drop it down the opacity a little bit here we go so this is before and this is after let's click on that image let's do a few color adjustment let's go to filter let's go to camera raw filter uh, let's drop down the highlights, increase the shadows, and then increase the clarity, increase the texture. Let's drop down the saturation a little bit and let's increase the vibrance just like so. And maybe the shadows is a little too much. Maybe let's drop it down somewhere around here. And let's drop down the whites a little bit and let's click on OK. So this is what we got and then let's add a gradient map on very top. Let's go over here, click on that uh, gradient map. And from here, uh, let's go for this one. Let's click on OK and let's change the color to soft light. So this is a pretty nice cinematic color. Let's drag and drop this PNG right over here. Let's go to filter. Let's go to camera raw filter again. And let's go for apply previous setting. Maybe let's drop down the exposure a little bit somewhere around here. And let's click on OK. And let's keep it under this gradient map. Control T. Let's uh, add some rotation, make it a little bigger just like that and let's go to filter let's go to blur and let's add some caution blur just like so and let's click ok and then let's make a one more copy Control j Control t let's make it a little bigger just like so yeah here we go and let's make one more copy Control j and let's keep it all the way to the bottom Control t let's make it a little smaller just like that maybe let's keep it under that yep like that and let's add a text on the very top Control T, let's make it a little bigger. Let's keep it right around here. 
Let's change the color to kind of a little brighter, yep, somewhere around here. Yeah, let's add a small detail on bottom. Control T, let's make it a little smaller here. Here we go. And let's merge everything. Control Shift Alt and E. Let's create a solid on the bottom. And then let's click on that layer. Let's go. Let's go for lasso tool and let's make a really drop selection on edges just like so. Here we go. And let's make a selection and let's create a linear max. So this is what we got. And then and let's add a texture on very top. So control T, let's add some rotation. Let's make it a little bigger. And let's change the blending mode to screen. And let's drop it down a little bit. And yep, that's the final. And I hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, you guys take care. Be safe and be creative. Bye-bye.